Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a guide to clan slash fleets if you will. Um, so with all that being said, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So I've got my fleet here and I just created it and uh, I didn't just create it. I created it this morning. Uh, well, more like this afternoon-ish and nonetheless, that's not important. I created a fleet and here it is. So um, I currently have 16 members. I've got um, uh, personnel, if you go here, all my people's in here. Not everybody, but I've got some people. Requests and upgrades, okay? Now, uh, the most important thing, if you guys just make your own fleet, right? If you guys are just going to create your own fleet, it's going to cost you 1,200 doubloons. 1,250, I believe. All right. If you guys are wondering uh, where to get the balloons from, you got to come over to the store here, and you got to come and pick up this five-dollar pack for twelve fifty doubloons, and you can buy um, yourself a fleet. Okay. Now, even if you're not gonna like invite people to a fleet, it's always good to still make a fleet if because if you can get the oil, um, if you can get the oil, I'll just show you guys the rewards here um, or the the upgrades. You guys can upgrade all your stuff with oil, okay? Now, uh, as you guys can see here, the first one is the Naval Academy, okay? Commander XP received. The first upgrade is 3% Commander XP received. The second is 6, the third is 9, and this uh, fourth is 12, okay? So you can get up to 12% extra Commander XP, all right? Which is pretty significant. Next up is the Dry Dock, all right? Each upgrade is kind of the same deal. Um, when you get it fully upgraded, you can get up to minus 12% to your service cost for tiers one through se uh, tiers through uh, tiers one through eight ships. Okay, so if you get that fully upgraded, you can literally get minus 12% to your service battle cost, which is pretty good. That is pretty good. Your post service battle cost anyway. So, moving on to the warship design department. Global XP received. Now this right here is freaking nuts. You can get up to 40% extra global XP, which is pretty damn significant. So if you get that fully upgraded, you can get a lot of global XP. Moving on, the cost of researchable ships. Uh, you can get that up to minus 12%, which is pretty good if, you, uh, if you're if you pretty uh, broke like credits like I am. <laughs> this could definitely come in handy. Next is the Naval College. Ship XP received. You can go all the way up to plus 4%. The Officer's House, which is I think is the most important the most important thing if you're a big clan like me or you got people you got more than 20 people basically if you have more than 20 people in your clan uh this is definitely something you're gonna probably want to be looking at here and saving all of your oil for it's gonna cost twenty-five thousand oil to upgrade this it's very expensive but here's the deal the more people you get in your fleet the better because the more people you get the more oil you can potentially get this is huge so this is why it costs so much oil. Just today, me and my, what, 10, 15 guys have earned 3,000 steel, or oil. So the more people you have, the more oil you can potentially get. So this right here is one of the most important upgrades if you're a big clan like myself, or a medium-sized clan. Moving on to the last thing here is probably also very important too. Steel received, plus 9% if you get all three upgrades, which is pretty significant. Okay, so all of these upgrades do definitely help a lot here, okay, in your World of Warships Legends careers. Even if you're not going to have many people in your clan, you can get oil pretty easily just by opening crates and stuff and what have you. And just for playing battles every day, you can get a lot of oil stacked up and you can potentially invest it in all this stuff here to help yourself out in the long term. Now, if you guys are wondering how to invite people to your fleet, you go over here. You got to go to Invite Players to Division. I know, it's weird. But you gotta come in here, and then you gotta find your friends. Alright? For example, if I wanted to invite my buddy, uh, I don't know, Wildest. Okay, I would come up here and invite him to the fleet. Alright? So, this goes for anybody. You can invite anybody you want to the fleet. Right now, in my clan, right, in my fleet, I'm only inviting people to my fleet that will make me the most oil. That will make us the most oil, because we need to get the upgrades, particularly to increase our fleet size, okay? Because if we don't, we're not going to have a good time. So we need... we I currently have like 30-something clan mates. I need to get the fleet uh, the fleet upgraded um, so we can get more people in here. 
All right, if we go to the uh, fleets, we go to upgrades. I need to get this upgrade right here. We've got like 30-something clan members, so I really need to get the plus 10 extra clan mate slots. So this is going to cost us about probably 50,000 oil, which is pretty significant. So now moving on, let's talk about how to earn oil, okay? If you are wanting to obtain oil, here's how you do it. So oil can, uh, oil can be acquired by winning a total of three battles a day in any mode except demo battles okay so if you guys want to get some oil all you have to do is come on once a day and win three battles in any mode all right except for demo battles which are the battles you play like early on not that important uh available for every fleet member okay so every single fleet member can earn oil just by playing a few battles so it's pretty important if you're a decent sized clan like mine you want to get that uh, get the fleet upgraded so you can get uh, more clan members it's pretty important uh, that you do this. Uh, you get as much oil as possible. But really, at all, you just need oil. You need lots and lots of oil to upgrade um, to upgrade all your facilities. Um, 10 oil for each win. So every single win you guys get, it's going to be 10 oil. Okay. 30 oil daily limit for each fleet member. So basically, uh, every single day, um, every single day, people can come on. And uh, they will, uh, 30 oil will get added straight to uh, the fleet. So basically, people can earn up to 30 oil per day um, or by obtaining con uh, containers. You will earn 20 oil per crate, all right? So every single crate you guys open, every single crate you guys open, except commander crates and I think except standard crates, but any of like the premium crates, um, you can get a lot of uh, freaking oil, okay? Uh, from opening containers and if i bring you guys back over to the uh, capture card here and i go over down to uh um i'll show you guys what i'm talking about here but if you guys come over uh to these uh the special tab a, a good way to get a lot of crates right now is by purchasing the semper fortis crates you can get a lot of these all right i've purchased a bunch already and each one of these crates drop 20 oil okay it's not going to actually say that it's dropped 20 oil, but if you look inside your fleet, it will give you oil, okay? There isn't a pop-up yet, but it is there, trust me. Any of these premium containers, like the Semper Fortis crates, if you guys open um, uh, the big crates and stuff, uh, these right here, um, any of the crates basically that you pay doubloons for, except commander crates, I don't think commander crates drop oil, um, you will get like 20 oil per crate, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, also, another good way of getting oil is just by buying the campaign, not buying it all the way out, but you get a lot of crates from the campaign, and you get a lot of those event currencies as well that you can use to buy out those crates, okay? So you can get a lot of freaking oil from those crates and containers. So pretty damn important. Pretty damn important indeed. So nonetheless, uh, if you guys want to come over to this page here, you guys are more than welcome to. It's a great page. It's got a lot of information about fleets. Um, I will leave a description down uh, below. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can come to this page right here. It's a World of Warships Legends site. It's got all the information about fleets you guys need to know. Um, it shows you what, basically, fleets do and what the bonuses are and a little bit of in-depth stuff down here. Okay? The, uh, the, the, the price to create a fleet is 1250 doubloons. I assure you it's worth it if you're willing to put in the time to get all the oil and upgrade those facilities. Okay, guys? Nonetheless, that's a little bit of a fleet guide. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you guys learned something, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually seriously uh, interested in hearing what you guys have to freaking say. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, nonetheless, hope you all have a great rest of uh, your weeks. Enjoy the update, everybody. And nonetheless, I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy. As always, happy fleet day, y'all. Woohoo. Hell yeah, they're finally here.